Ooh. Hey guys, it's me, Kenny, and today is day three of the reading rush, and I am about 22 minutes away from finishing Miss You by Kate Eberling, and I went on a journey. This, I went on a journey. I was a little shocked at the journey of where we were going with this, because this is, this is so... <sighs> Like I was been trying to compile my thoughts of like what I would rate this. Like I think I would rate a three because I think it's a it's a good book, but I don't think it's the book for me because this book, as I was going through and all the horrible misfortunes and also the situation that the characters got themselves into, that domino effect everything like so many choices they could have completely avoided. Like this book, I feel like it was a cloud of grief um just hovering of like a bad cloud of all both of the characters hovering um because we have one character Tess who her um this essentially this book is themed like the theme is grief so like if you're not in the mood and the mindset don't read it because I thought this was going to be a romance like we're going to get some moments here that is not what I got I got a women's fiction and I the characters on they meet this they have this trans meeting at the top of the beginning of the book as we base off the back of the book and then right now i'm about 22 minutes into it and they meet again 16 years later but in between the middle they only see each other like in a chance passing one time between the 16 years before they meet again towards the end which is like because right now the last like one or two chapters is that and i'm just like what was the purpose like of we, it's like we get no happy moments with them we don't like they'll it's like almost like a tease of like oh you thought you want to get this happy moment don't think so and it's like well, did I, I didn't sign up for this so this was more grief ridden I don't think that's a good word but like the thing was like grief and because both of our characters have lost someone close to them um in death and it puts our one of our main character Tess. It makes her grow way too fast and become a mother to her um, her sister, who has she finally has um, has Asperger's syndrome. Um, but that's they don't find out until years later. And then we have uh, what is it, Gus, whose whose parents he he has um, his brother um, was in a snow sled accident. So let's, skiing accident I'm sorry skiing accident and he always feels like he's in the shadow of his brother so then he goes and does some things and like there's affairs and cheating like on both ends like at first I was like okay what in the world is happening right now like did you really think that was a good choice for both ends and I'm like are, are we really serious about making these choices right now like there were a lot of uh, situations they could have avoided um and it was just like I felt like it was a whole ball cloud of grief and like sadness and misfortune after misfortune just clouding over the characters this whole entire book and I was not prepared for it I was not in the mindset for it and it doesn't mean it wasn't a good book I think a lot of people may really really like this book but I don't think this was a good book for me um and if I knew it was so emotionally heavy I wish I would have been prepared for it but it's like a lot of times you don't it's, they didn't prepare me like the back said nothing I was like, okay, expand 16 years, but like, are we gonna get them chance meeting? Cute little meet cues once or twice. Um, I, we just got their happy, I don't know, second meet cue in 16 years towards the end, last couple of chapters of the book. And so I'm hoping that, I don't know, some, at least they t are happy at the end. At least, can we give them each a happy ending? Something, because the course of their life over the 16 years was tragedy after misfortune after horrible bad decision it was just like rinse and repeat and i was just like can we avoid all of this though but i think it's a really good book it's an average book like i rated it right now i'm gonna rate it a three i think it's not the rating not gonna change in the next 22 minutes but if it does i'll let you know but right now i'm rating it a three and i think that's a pretty good writing like it's a great it's a good book but it's not the book for me um it is not one of those memorable like 
books for me because I'm like I can barely even figure out remember the character's name it's only because I just fresh was listening to it in the car that's why um so yeah I will update you guys later but for right now the final ratings is three I did read a little bit of they wish they were us two or two chapters of they wish they were us um at work and so I'll probably work on read on that and or the best laid plans but yeah those are my updates for day three right now yeah, and I got a package. Ooh, I'll show you guys a little bit later. Ciao. <laughs>
so we're still trying to deal with that i was supposed to be trying to install a new um carbon monoxide and smoke alarm but apparently fedex dropped my package off somewhere but it's not at my house so at least my amazon packages came and i'll show you guys them now so yeah base pin for my ipad it's a pineapple it's a uh, yes so this is my this package wasn't supposed to come until tomorrow so i'm happy um so this is my new budget planner by um zyke two it's a budget planner because i'm trying to get them the budgets right because the last two months quarantine got me looking crazy oh yeah i have my new budget system and yeah i'm excited so i actually did like a financial meeting with one of my um good family friends oh uh, yeah and so they do a business where it's um kind of we do like a financial oh sorry financial like just kind of break down my expenses and let's just say i spent a little bit more than i really needed to like i usually spend i'm usually like i'm always careful with my money of where i spend it um but like i've been a little i've been mom treating myself a little bit more than usual than the last month two months so nipping that in the bud and going with my budget planner because i love planners and i love notebooks so gotta get some expenses right right and tight um because i'm trying to save and move to portugal in the next two years so me trying to save up i need to stop sitting now um especially during quarantine this is the perfect time you, you can't go nowhere i'm going from here to work getting gas and groceries literally that's it so it shouldn't be that hard um yeah so once i have a plan and i have a notebook got it i also ordered <gasps> hopefully it'll come in yeah it should come in before the end of the readathon um i ordered some planner stickers i'm so excited i love stickers putting in my them in my planner and planning my day giving cute little notes for myself so cute oh my god i'm so excited y'all um and i cannot wait to show y'all yes so i'm excited and uh yeah so i will update you guys oh yes yeah, so uh, let me update you guys on they wish they were us by jessica goodman now i am in maybe i'm in like chapter 12 and so right now i don't trust anyone um and i don't even know if i trust the main character who is jill and jill's brother wants to be so badly in the player so bad and they're right now they're at their initiation process which it sounds like college but like these people are like wired and wired throughout the community like police and colleges so they all just so happened co coincidentally now all got into their dream colleges if i it's too coincidental and none of, I think that's of course the way that's the way I'm supposed to think but like now uh and so Jill is contacted by the brother or the sister of the guy who is we don't know if he's wrongly accused or not we don't know who did it we don't know um but she's contacted by her and she's in this CD motel or neighborhood or whatever and jill is like why did she pick me like why couldn't you pick any other person but i kind of figure out why she texts her because jill is the one who like asks questions and like she will probably be me and i'm like no why is this this because that don't make sense i need you to make that make sense and it's not making any sense like you have all this money but it's not making sense you have no got dollar bill no sense um so I like it I really like it but it's giving me it's it's so great because I have not read a mystery thriller boarding school elite um background or setting in a in years like since I read Gossip Girl and the private series by Kate Bryan which I mentioned in the my day three part early in this vlog that it reminds me of that so much and i really really enjoy that because now it kind of makes me want to reread the series and see that um i'm excited so i will let you guys know 
any updates um i'm have a f i have a little get together that i'm doing video zoom with my friends at seven so i may put a clip may or may not put a clip on that if i remember to record it but um i'll update you guys much later and um yeah ciao wow this is so much better lighting okay whatever uh -uh. So my thing is, I have to read the article in Portuguese and, and I need to summarize what I understand and um, send a video recording of my voice, oh, oh, I'm sorry, a voice recording to my Portuguese teacher and to let him know what words that I need to know um, that are new to me as well as the explanation so he can correct my under my certain words however I phrase. <laughs> Anywho, so today is the 24th and I want to update you guys on the books that I read. I will put the picture here because the book is way over there. Um, and yeah, so I finished They Wish They Were Us and I know I said in my previous clip that I didn't trust the main character. She's prob- my mind has changed. Um, I- kind of love the main character she was relatable but also like you could tell that yes she knew what her friends were doing but of like or well, i guess everyone's men mentality in high school like you want to be be in someone's place like you want to be in a group and like want people to like you so you don't say you don't reveal certain stuff that it's not supposed to be revealed so i was like oh um, Jill was very strong-willed when it needed to be, when at the right time she was strong-willed. And I was like, girl, you did that. Also, my comparison to, um, the private series, um, yes it is. The only aspect I think, I need to correct myself, the only aspect that for the privacy that it's, like, similar to is the elite group prep school high eliteness of it it's like gospel girl private series like if it was written better and like was made modernized because that is book series is in the early 2000s so if i reread it right now it's probably gonna be like a lot of drama and just like probably just like candy bad for me but like and i'm eating it all the time but like i can just run through all of those books and so like it's gossip girl if gossip girl private series was modernized and like maybe one one of us was lying maybe even i don't even know about that but like that if we mushed up and had a baby it was that it would be that one and i really enjoyed it i rated a four out of five stars it was great they also the like who done it i was thrown off completely thrown off completely i did not see that coming at all uh i was shook because i had one person in mind and it was not that person and i was trying to just figure out like how did i miss that but apparently i missed it and and the like because we already know some murder that happened but like the murder was like realistic it wasn't nothing like crazy or like extravagant like no one would have thought of or like just some psycho um but no it was like a realistic murder like <laughs> I don't know if that says anything, but yeah. Um, I rated four out of five stars. So yeah, so the total is that I have three out of the five books that I I told myself I wanted to read. I am going to try to read, finish reading, um, best laid plan, at least get through majority of that book, hopefully. And then I've saved like the thinnest book, which is First and Then by Emma Mills, which is Pride and Prejudice. I'm actually gonna watch the Lizzie Bennett diary because that's a Pride and Prejudice retelling or if I can just if whatever I get to first the Lizzie Bennett diaries or Amazon Prime whichever one I just decide to click on first um it will be Pride and Prejudice and I'm gonna watch that and I'm so excited so excited 
um because i love pride and prejudice it's my favorite jane austen um since the sensibility is getting up there it's kind of being number two i like it also update on best laid plans let me go get the book i keep pointing to it i got my package today from lovely book box a lovely book box and in this i just so happen to pick this up but it's my mug that says no so many feelings and as a book reader i love to see it and it's clear. I've never had a mug that is clear. So I'm so excited to have my little tea tomorrow morning and drink this. I also got a eye mask that I can think freeze and put in the microwave. So when I have a migraine, I can just throw that thing on. Boop, boop. And there we go. Um, so speaking of best laid plans, I am on page 166, which is chapter a little, I'm like legit in the middle of the book. But so we're at the point where, um, our grand old friend, um, what is her name? Gosh, Keely. Keely has decided she, um, has out of the slip of a tongue, slip of her tongue, uh, she has decided to, um, when her new makeout buddy, I guess, because I don't really think I know what they are, and she doesn't know what they are. So, if I as a reader don't know what you are, you're just really just buddies who kiss, apparently. Um, and so she wants to make it like official. I think they're like a, I think they're official though. Like they're they're together. But um, our friend Dean here, who was a sophomore in college, asked her, um, "So are you a virgin?" And she's just like. <laughs> no and I'm like but you are and so she lied like, bro and so her friend one of her friends I don't like her friend her friend is very like aggressive and like because of her past situations has made it like want to she wants to mirror that and like put that on on her and I'm just like that's bad advice don't do that please don't do that and so Keely it's like a dynamic that I really don't between within the friend group that I'm just like, how does Kiwi fit into all of this? Uh, because her her friends are like one is like aloof and kind of like a Gretchen of uh, Gretchen mean girls type, and then one is just like a Regina, but like also not Regina, not so mean, but like I don't know, she's mean because she literally like talked about this girl Ava. I was like, why are these people your friends? Why, why, why are they your friends? Ava tells, um, tells, gives Keely advice and was like, if you really like she who wouldn't, um, he it wouldn't matter. And so like, I was like, thank you. This is the sanest piece of advice that has been given to this girl the entire time after she like has lied. So like, they've kind of set up the we set up this progress and like they've maybe been dating for maybe two and a half three chapters and then chapter 17 is where it all goes down because this is the part where she texts her best friend andrew and was like you know hannah has told me this deal and has put this plan and this idea in my head like well since you are quite familiar with the entire women in population of our high school you're much more experienced than i am so i need you to be my tutor and i'm like ah this is not going to turn out well like it'll turn out well but she's not going to like dean as much as she thinks she does because andrew has been there the entire time and i love to see it that is beautiful so i'm going to attempt to maybe get, if I can get to page 200 that would be great so I can get read this much tonight without going to sleep that would be great um yeah so so far it's really realistic I like it I also like Andrew despite the fact that he's a player um well he pretends that he's a player he doesn't care about Kiwi we already know that's not true so yeah um yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna try to upload this. Wow, that was a swift swing of the hair. But anywho, um, that um, I want to edit this part here. Hopefully, edit this. So that is my update for the night. If I don't update you guys anytime soon after this clip, then I'll just see you guys on Saturday. I will see you guys later. Ciao.